Now that we've got our dot blueprint created, we're going to go ahead and set up a dot cannon so that the cannon can fire, I don't know, like five or six in rapid succession every so often. So that's what we're going to start working toward now. In order to get kind of a, a sequence of objects or projectiles to fire, I like to use a for loop with delay. The default for loop, though, in UE4 doesn't come with a delay, so we have to make our own macro. And to do that, we're just going to right click and we're going to choose blueprints. And we're going to create a blueprint macro library. I think I clicked on the wrong thing. Hang on a minute. Blueprints, blueprint, micro library. There we go. Okay, so that's right. I want this to reference object. And I'll call this dot blueprint macro library. Okay, so this is a place where I can store multiple custom macros. And since I'm referencing object instead of say like actor or something like that, I can use this in any blueprint class I want to, which is great. Once I double click it, you can see we have an input and output node and it's up for up to me or us to create the inputs and outputs for this macro. I'm gonna start with the inputs. The first one's gonna be exec. And I'll make that an execution pin. The second one will be first index. And that needs to be an integer. And then we'll do last index. That'll be an integer also. And then our last pin will be to lay in, and that will be an execution pin. For outputs, the first one's gonna be an execution pin, we'll call it loop body, and this is really similar to the regular for loop, we're just working in these uh, delay nodes. The second output will be index. The third will be completed. And that will be an execution node, or I'm sorry, pin. And then we'll do delay out. All right. That's it for our inputs and outputs. Drag off here and drop an assign node. And then I'm gonna drag off variable and look up local integer. There it is. I'm spelling integer wrong. All right, so from this, we're going to add one, whoops. We'll do integer plus integer. So first index is gonna get plugged into our assigned value. Last index, we need to drag off a less than or equal to. And then if you hit hold B on your keyboard and left click, that'll bring up a branch. Plug that into the condition. We need another sign. A 
it. So we'll plug our local int into the assign and we'll do the add one. Then for delay in, drag off here and we'll add a sequence. So one will go to a sign. Zero will go to the loop body. False goes to completed and true goes to delay out. And this assigned variable will also get plugged into the branch. We'll go ahead and save that out. Now I'm going to make the Canon Blueprint. So I'll just right click, choose Blueprint Class, and I'll create an Actor Blueprint. I'll call this dot Canon. Double click that and open it. And the first thing I'm gonna do is drop a scene component in here. This just makes the blueprint easier to work with in terms of world location and we'll add a cylinder. This is going to be the cannon. Normally you would want to make some sort of mesh for this but just for the purposes of blueprinting we'll just use the cylinder and then we need a location for the dot to spawn. So I'm going to create a sphere. I'm just going to move this up and scale it down. There are a couple of things I need to do with this sphere. The first is I need to turn off its collisions. So I don't want it to block anything. I'm just using it I'm sort of as a locator. And then we're also going to set it hidden in game. So we'll make sure that's ticked as well. All right. That's our component setup. Let's move into our event graph. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new custom event. I'm not going to need those two events. I will keep event begin play. I'm going to create a custom event. So if I type custom, and I will name this fire dots. So this is where we're going to plug in all the logic that fires off all of those dot actors. From event begin play, we're going to set timer by function name. It says function name, but it also accepts events. So under function name, I'm going to choose fire or type fire dots. So every two seconds, and we'll set it to loop. Every two seconds, this timer will fire the fire dots event. So for fire dots, I need my for loop. Did I name that? Let me make sure I named that. I didn't name it. I need to name it. So I'm just back here in my macro library. I'm going to call it for loop with delay. Save that. There it is, for loop with delay. So I'll plug that into the execution pin and then we'll say zero to four. So that's gonna fire 
we'll set it so this loop will go five times. It starts at zero. And we will spawn. Spawn actor from class. And I'll choose dot blueprint. And then we need to drop a delay down here. Delay. And we'll set this to something like 0.3. The last thing, we're getting a compiler error. The reason why is because I need to define the location where the the dot is going to spawn. That's where the sphere comes in handy. So I'll just drag the sphere in. And then I'll choose get location. So we'll get world location. And this is a vector. So this is location. The transform is location, rotation, and scale. But what we care about most here is the location. So we'll just go with that. And now if I hit compile, we're in good shape. So what's going to happen here is at begin play, it's going to start this timer that's going to call fire dots every two seconds. So every two seconds, and that's going to loop. So every two seconds, this for loop with delay is going to spawn five dot actors or dot blueprints. Let's try this out and see if it goes. All right, so I'll go ahead and hit play. So two seconds went by, and then here's our first dot salvo. Which is kind of fun. It's firing straight up in the air. They're colliding with each other. It's all kind of neat. 